All right. This is Living Dead coming back with another one, a WAD playthrough. This time I'm giving a look at Assembly Line 1.0 by Regular Warren. I guess Special Warren wasn't available, so we'll have to make do with the regular version. Uh, this is a Cheesy Doom exclusive map, and it apparently makes use of some advanced features. I'm pretty interested to see this. Already I like this intro screen, although I could see this maybe making you a little seasick at some point if you stare at it long enough. Um, it looks really cool and it's nice and atmospheric. Um, I do know that we have some uh, intended graphical settings and intended gameplay settings to apply in the options menu. However, um, I don't know what they change and so I don't want to do that and then go to all the trouble of having to change my settings back after I play this map. So sorry, but I am going to play this without applying those settings. Uh, I hope you don't take that personally. Um, but I happen to think that my settings in GZ Doom look good to me. So I'm just going to assume that this map is going to look good on its own. Okay, we're going to do this ultraviolence. And I do already have mouse look enabled, crouching and jumping. See if that's required or not. Um, and note that we're not making the use of midis. We're making the use of the use of some, um, I guess, MP3s or whatever. And this is, I don't know if this is custom music. I think maybe it is. It said it was scored specifically for. Oh, we are locked in here. Or rather, the monsters are now locked in with me. Nice atmospheric thing going on here. listen to that for a second. That's really cool sounding. I really like it. Kind of reminds me of Dusk, um, which is a fantastic soundtrack. And I note that that's, that jump pad noise is from Dusk, so I wonder if this was inspired by it. At least the music was. I mean, it's got its own thing going on, but I like it a lot. Alright, so, oh, and here we go. Probably should have tried to use that jump pad, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. And this is pretty loud in my headphones, so I'm wondering if it's loud on this recording. Oh, uh, this music is dope as hell, though. This is really cool. Turn the music up a couple of notches and turn the volume of the game down a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Sorry, I might just drown out my voice a little bit for this, because this music is dope. Oh shit! That is not something I was expecting at all. Oh, neat. So the music is dynamic, which is really cool. A lot of glowing stuff going on here, which looks pretty cool. Um, I guess this maybe is to represent the sunlight coming in through the skylight, which is really neat. The um, use of the O-Tex 
This looks very much like a Quake 3 deathmatch map or something like that. Definitely a little bit arena-y and in terms of how it looks, but visually it's still pretty nice. I mean, Otex does a lot of the lifting there, but it doesn't mean that you don't get credit for making it look the good. <laughs> it still requires you to know what you're doing. This map doesn't seem like one that's going to stay easy for a long time, so I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I don't think I really need to comment much on the use of sector lighting and all that other stuff. This just looks good. I think it's very self-evident that this... Is... Oh shit, that like pushed me into the room. Uh-oh. Shh. I did not even see where that came from. I mean, I saw it after I died, but I didn't expect it. All right. There was that other shoe dropping. So that just pushes me into the room. Let's do some target prioritization and knock out these guys first. I feel like if I just stay down here, that arch file will be okay, but... Since we're using scripting, I can't take for granted the fact that more monsters won't show up just by some kind of trigger I'm not aware of. Oh, damn. I let myself get out for just long enough. Oh, I can't even go in this door, so I have to go either direction first. Alright. Round three. I heard that death sound. Two rockets. Damn it! I wanted to shoot at this guy. I accidentally pulled the wrong gun out. Ugh. Okay. I want to turn auto aim off here in a minute. We'll see. Now, let me do that real quick because that's kind of screwing me up. Try it again for real now. Damn. All right, this shit is hard. I might need to just ignore the arch file. Definitely taking me a moment to get used to not using auto aim again. Alright. Come down here and do a little save scumming.
Can you just be gone somewhere, dude? Poof. Do that as well. It's kind of a bit of a hindrance to try to blind aim without any auto aim on and no crosshair. So that's the compromise I'll make in terms of changing my settings. All right. That was a mistake. so much. Whew. Right. It's getting pretty tense. At 115 out of 217 monsters killed. Christ. Who's my candidate? Can I have my pick here? I think it's gonna have to be the gunners. It seems like one that's going to be a two-parter. Starting to see the actual, I guess, namesake of this level. An actual assembly line here. Oh! How did you come from? Alright. Anything else I left behind? Door is jammed. Find a way around. Okay. Can do. Showing up backwards. It's a lot of ammo. Boy. Oh. thing in this fight. Nope, didn't think so.
it's very sudden. I'm still not convinced that this is the end of the fighting in this room. I guess the truth is, no idea how many monsters are actually in this map because the monster count keeps growing. This is neat. This kind of reminds me of like uh, Quake again or some of the areas in that game control. One exit door, one half unlocked. Is this a secret? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> uh, is he gonna be pissed if I take his stuff? It's the ammo, buddy. Can he die? That's funny. Thing that I left behind in here? I don't think so. Alright. That's interesting. Alright, I'm gonna jump into this pit. Okay. That is a geospatial violation, if I've ever seen one. How did I drop down twice and end up on the same floor that I started on. Hmm? Okay. Here's a kind of a problem, right? All these areas look identical, so I think I'm supposed to go this way, but it's just a little jarring for a second. That cool, that changes green. That's neat. Oh, Jesus. Just assume that as soon as I kill that arch file, something else is going to happen. Oh, it's going to give me rockets. Not what I expected, but I'll take it. A lot of ammo. this a Christmas tree up there? What is that? Oh, that was not good.
Ooh. Okay. It's time for some cleanup. Man, the music has been really good so far. Some interesting variety while kind of keeping with a consistent sort of theme. And I, you know, kind of compared it to Dusk earlier, but that's maybe just more in the way that it kind of just chugs along. Definitely has its own distinct style to it. Very into it. How many homing rockets is it going to be? <laughs> nice. Clipped him with a single pellet. these cute little Christmas trees all over the place. Um. Oh, some doors over here. I'm gonna go across this bridge in here. Okay, that's cool. Can't be everything in this room. Grab all these rockets first. Make note of these. Feel of that. Okay. Cool. All right, let's go.
That's it, huh? Okay. I'm expecting a little bit more after all that setup. Well, naturally, I'm going to go. Interesting. Okay. Thought there was going to be another hole in the ground or something. Like to see if any other secrets opened up, maybe? Yep. <laughs> what is this? I love it. It's very unusual. Is this done anything? Okay. Makes me think you're not meant to jump in this. So I could have turned jumping off, but I haven't really used it, so. Sorry, buddy, but. I don't know if I get something special for killing both of these guys, or maybe I get punished. Okay, so coming back this way, and then back out here. I'm surprised that this backtracking is required, given how uh, I just got dumped back out from the first one, but I guess that doesn't make sense. Okay, so now it's the first hint of, like, uh some visual change up just a little bit We're outside there's some chirping a little bit it sounded like I did I like how it just changes to this ominous like airflow sound though all right and that does not like seem like a whole lot to prepare me for a battle this does uh-oh Swimming? Nope. Little waterfall over here. Oh, Jesus. Not effective use of the BFG. Good job. Good job. Good job. Alright, try this again. Now I know that this Revenant nuke is following me. Maybe I can get it to hit one of the cyber demons. They don't seem to want to come off this platform, though. Oh, I did hit him. Probably not worth it. Just, just kill him. Damn it, I'm so bad at dodging Revenant, I mean, uh, Cyber Demons. Did that nuke explode yet?
risky and stupid. as possible. That's not the way out. This is... Uh... Is that supposed to happen? This is cool as fuck. Is this? Oh, good job. Oh, neat. This is really cool. Oh, do I die in one hit? I have one hit point. Okay. So I actually have to be really careful. Really? deal is. Um, it can't just be that I have to shoot all these guys, right? That's what I'm going to do. Maybe I was just supposed to jump through here. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, what?
Man, the atmosphere in this is just awesome. I love this type of crazy, like, reality bending stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Oh, this is going to be tough. I'm not great at dodging Mancubus projectiles. Damn it. There we go. And I missed one kill or something like that. All of credits. I want to know who made this music. Otex, yeah, it's pretty legit. Anim Def's entry for Otex. I don't know what that means. Insane gazebo play testing. Providing technical support. Ah, interesting. So we have Bridge Burner to blame if we have any criticisms about the gameplay. Is that it? Hey, look at these. Major Arlene. Oh, that's sweet. Bringing my attention back to Doom after a hiatus. If it wasn't for Ev Eternity, I would have never considered texture-oriented detailing. Huh. Yeah, Ev Eternity is fantastic. It looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, Ultimate Doom Builder is pretty great. And the scripting stuff. Yeah, the scripting stuff was pretty neat. Oh, yeah. It was my pleasure. So couple of parting thoughts here. That was a very fun and interesting level, gameplay-wise. Probably a little bit on the less creative side, given that it just kind of boils down to a series of arenas. Um, and honestly, a lot of them kind of were handled by just kind of circle strafing your way through most of them. So um, I didn't find it particularly challenging overall. I, um, I do have to speak very positively about the overall experience. The um, the presentation is top notch. The music is awesome. It's great. In fact, I would I would download MP3s of this and just like listen to while I make maps, just to have background music going on. Um, the visual, I would say, the heavy use of O text to give the nice. Uh, that it, it, it definitely has that kind of distinct style. All these kind of like cube-shaped things. Um, I do feel like it kind of um, maybe doesn't have enough variety in it, but overall the map doesn't really outstay its welcome too much, so I guess that's not that big of a deal. Um, it is very creative in terms of some of the some of the loopier aspects of it i like the aspect of like falling down the, the pits and kind of like winding back up where i started um i liked the end area was very cool um i do think exploration wise i mean ultimately it's just kind of like a series of arenas right so that could be a positive or a negative just depending on your personal opinion it's 
much more like Doom 2016 in that type of regard. Um, but, you know, for better or for worse, it's it's very much just like a, an arena-based map. And I think that's fine. I don't think I'd play an entire megawatt of that. And I would like to see... I'd like to see more exploration type of stuff from this author, because especially the way that the end of the map kind of surprises you with the, uh, the crazy little alternate reality bending type of stuff is awesome. And it's very, it was very surprising. And I'd play multiple maps that involve that kind of crazy, like jumping between dimensions or breaking reality or whatever we did, uh, at the end by detonating a bomb or something. I don't know. Um, but it, it, it was very surprising and, and it was very enjoyable to be surprised in that way. I liked the gimmick of the single hit point and just dodging the projectiles as kind of like a final set piece. I think that worked. The final arena wasn't particularly interesting once you kind of just take out the mancubuses and then again you just kind of circle strafe around all the hell knights, but, um... I, you know, I think it definitely um, worked as a sort of climactic set piece in that it's it's very much just more about you You definitely feel like oh, what I'm trying to do is stay alive to escape this place. So overall, very positive experience. I would not harp too much on the criticisms that I, that I laid out just because I just would tend to give them equal weight in terms of how I present criticism versus compliment that doesn't necessarily mean that I think that this is equally bad as it is good I think this is overall a very solid effort the presentation is top-notch music is amazing visually it looks pretty good even if it can be a little bit tedious and and there's not a lot of variety overall in the overall structure of it um, but it's very consistent and it looks good and it makes a very good use of uh, different sectors to give contrast and whatnot gameplay wise you know I'd say hit or miss. It's going to very much depend on what you want out of the map. Exploration, you know, not a whole lot to it there, although the secrets were highly amusing. And I would like to see more from this author, so keep it up.